last time on Dark One. Hello, what are you doing in here? Oh, f you got a stick. The door code is 3333. I can't get it any easier. Remember it. I'm not opening that door after dark anymore. I went to get some gasoline from the pig shed. I'll be back after dark. Okay. Is there anything new in our journal? No, but there is new stuff on our map. So we have the wolf camp, the silent forest hideout, and then Piatrek's home. Who the hell is Piatrek? Oh, 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 I got stick. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Bike bell. Use item. Something is happening. Hello? That's a lot of bodies. Oh, God. Ow, he hurts. Holy shit, He hurts really bad. Oh, the skeletons from Party City. Chest key. And a caliber magazine. Oh! Something is in here. Oh, we got a big problem. Oh, my God. We've got a huge problem. This is no... Oh, my God. Oh, shit. We're live. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Darkwood. It's been about another week, and it's time for us yet again to make one more episode in the installment. Now, before we get started, I do just want to say that this series has been getting amazingly resounding success as compared to my other videos, and I just want to thank you guys all so much for that. You guys truly are the cog that makes this machine work, and I do wholeheartedly appreciate it. Now, with that being said, before we go any further, and before we get on with today's episode, I want to go ahead and say be sure to like comment, subscribe, and to ring the bell for any notifications on any videos or live streams that I may do in the future. And seriously, when I say comment, do comment because I do read all of them. I do respond to everybody as best as I can. And it just makes me happy to read your feedback. So really anything is welcome. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Editing Dylan here. Did you know that 85% of you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel? What the heck is wrong with you guys? Like, come on, look at the size of this bar. Ooh. Subscribe or you're a dickhead. But enough of that bullshit, we've got shit to do today, so where did we leave off exactly? All I remember is that we got our ass whooped at night because we didn't know how to properly fortify. And with that being said, I am going to just pretend it didn't happen and I will deal with it later tonight. Let's follow this path because we do actually have a mission from Wolfman. Actually, I turned down the audio way too much. That's probably better. Okay. All right, come here, bitch. Yeah. Heave ho. Oh, you think you got me? Ha ha! You aren't anything. Oh, you're a you're a big dog. You're not just a wimpy dog. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big one. It was a big old pooch, a big old woofer. Oh, and we got another cultist over here. Ow! Okay, that actually kind of hurt. Actually, no, it didn't hurt at all. I lied. Man, you're kind of weak and pathetic, aren't you? Huh. Well, not my problem, I suppose. All right, let's go and search this wood pile. Ooh, more logs and nails. I will take that. Wait, come here. I need you. Okay, there we go. Now, before um, we kind of get into the thick of it and we get distracted, I did want to mention, oh, a shrine. We found another shrine, apparently. Uh, somebody in the last video, one of the uh, consistent viewers, did write down that um, I should probably change up the way that I edit these videos in that the time, which is shown up here now, used to be completely blocked by my webcam. And so, thank you for that feedback. I'm glad to know that we can kind of work on that together and get this going the way that works so that everybody is able to get a sense of the time and the flow of the game. All right, anyway, so the path... Okay, this just leads back up to the house. So how about us my inventory before I get going? Ah, uh, it's not terrible. All right, let's just go. Oh, hey, hold the fuck up. This key actually unlocked this crate. What's inside? A metal pipe, some nails, a watch. Uh, well, we don't need that, but that is something that we can sell. So that is good to have regardless. And this also gives us more place to store our wood logs, which is actually really good because we don't need to keep them inside our main storage. Well, at least we figured out where that key goes. So that's one good thing to come out of this episode. All right, so I deposited all that stuff. I made a few rags because we actually started filling up our inventory and I got everything else sorted out. What did we just discover? The pig shed, huh? Well, where is the shed of pigs? One might ask. I have a sneaking suspicion it has something to do with this. Hello? Anybody there? Wait, get back here. No, I wanted your carcass. You son of a bitch. Is this another egg? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and break it open. Heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! I'll be taking that. Thank you. And we will be using that once we get to the swamp. Oh, so there's the pig shed. It's up to our left. But there's also a truck to our bottom left. I kind of want to check him out. I wonder what he's up to. Because I have no idea who this is. 
and I have no idea what he's here for. I did have a few people mention how to correctly say his name, but I am I'm very stubborn, so I'm going to continue to say it the way that I've always said it. So fuck y'all. A junk pile. Pile of junk sloppily welded together. Uh huh. Interesting. And here's a house. Oh, this is actually a whole ass hideout. Could open it with a lockpick. Well, I don't have one of them thingies, so we ain't gonna do it. All right. Well, what else is going on? A disassembled tractor. Some gas. Anybody there? A tractor wheel? A crate? What's in the crate, might I ask? Ooh, interesting. And a lot of squirming, squelchy shit. Okay, well, no problem. We don't need to go in. Poochie? Are you okay, Poochie? Or do you need to get whomped in the ass? I think he needs to get whomped in the ass. Ooh, there's a pot with some meat. Awesome. Can we go through this window? Probably not. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to need a Molotov to get through here. Well, shit, I guess we're heading back to the house. Well, I mean, our inventory is already almost full again, so I guess that's to be expected. Oh, look at the little rabbit. All stuck on the fucking fence like an idiot. whoop up! All right, I'll be taking that, sir. Thank you. All right, diddly-doo. Well, we can't get inside this house, and I don't really want to try because we don't have much time, so we need to figure out what the hell Pia Truck is, who the hell he is, what he do, where he do, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and equip our Molotovs here. There we go. And we don't have much time, so we got to hurry. All right, Molotov away! All right, that should take care of that door. And it should probably burn down the door while we're at it. All right, who's there? Hello? Ow, fucker! Die already. God. These dogs, dude. They pissed me off. There's another toolbox in here and a blueprint. Looks like a clock tower or a rocket ship. And it needs part. Is that what the parts are for? I think I just found out what we need all the parts for. Now we gotta do is find Piotrek. Which we have no idea where he's at, but... That can wait till later, because we don't really have the time. Actually, you know what we do? We do. We'll poke around in this house real quick and figure out what's happening. Hello? Anybody there? A scrap metal warehouse covered with fungus and spiderwebs. It's very stuffy. Ah, well, who would have guessed? Anything in here? Some rags. No room, unfortunately. Another crate. Anything in here worth my time? Postcard with a portrait of a man. I can't read that, so I'm going to not even try. But awesome. Ooh, tape. I'll leave the meat here. I don't need the meat. And then we can always... We can leave this stick for the 9 volt. We can always come back. I smell Rosen. Rosen? The hell is Rosen? Uh, hello? Oh, well, would you look at you, sir? My, oh my, you have so many watches. I didn't hear you come in. The boy's eyes are wandering around the room. I found this wiggly metal thingy yesterday. It was lying there in the grass. I don't like grass. <laughs> oh, so, so he's a gamer. It's so slippery and it tickles your feet. Rather than grass, I would prefer these metal wigglies. Yes. The metal antennas on his wire hat suddenly start vibrating. Do you have any metal wigglies? Uh, maybe. I haven't slept a wink today. The whole night I thought about this large metal cover from the tractor. It was such a beautiful cover. Ideal cover. No doubts about it. I mean, almost, because I would need to bend it a little bit with a screwdriver and it would shield me from the space dust that is... Space dust. Space dust is everywhere. I like to watch the stars at night. Sometimes you can see these bright blinking spots. These bright blinking spots. Those are spaceships and rockets, obviously. The sky is awfully boring during the day. No stars, no ships, no rockets, nothing. Only these white smoke trails. I saw one yesterday. Over there, far above the treetops. Dad used to say they were planes. But such long planes? It'd be crazy to fly them. Oh, I have that one too. It's such a beautiful photograph. I had one just like this. It melted into a perfect little ball shaped like the moon. I melt everything plastic into moons. He suddenly becomes excited. Have you seen my vehicle? It's ready. Well, almost ready. Just a couple of parts missing. I need to find them. And I will have to repair the casing. The one from the spring that fell off recently when I was entering the cockpit. I hit my head and it, well, it fell off. I thought I was flying, but it was just that the lights went off. These are the blueprints for my space rocket. Almost ready. I broke down a whole tractor to build it. But I'm missing several parts. Several very important parts. For example, a shiny little mirror with this rectangular box with wires and it suddenly becomes lost in thought. If only I had more tractors, I would definitely go to space. You won't be able to make it home through this road. You should build a rocket. Okay, 
Well, it looks like we know what Piatrek wants. He wants all the different car parts and stuff that we've obtained for the different tractors. And I would imagine that once we kick him out, we can use this base. And this base would actually be a lot better to secure because it's more secure in general. So that's probably going to be our play. We only have t an hour and a half to make it back home and figure out how we're going to fortify it. With which I have no idea how we're going to do it. So we're going to have to figure something out. All right, so since we do have this extra tool bench, it would be useful to go ahead and upgrade our workbench yet another time. Now we've unlocked armor. Whoa! Armor? Seriously? Simple shot shotgun. Oh, that's the next tier. Okay, so we need pis- So we can currently now craft a pistol and a homemade shotgun. We just need another pipe. We can also make a shovel if we have a shovel head. So we have a couple things that we need to get. What time is it? We're at 1740. Okay, we don't have much time. We got to figure something out. We got to figure it out quick because otherwise we're not going to survive. So let's go ahead and dump this away. And let's go ahead and go turn on the generator because we really need to spend the rest of our time in the house figuring out how we're going to do this. I think the best way to do it would be just to barricade the different windows. Or not the windows, but um, do we have enough gas? Yeah, we got enough gas. This will work. Okay, so we're going to build some doorways. If we need to, and we're going to repair. Here's what we're, here's how we're going to do it. I like this idea. So we're going to barricade this. What does it require? Uh, planks and nails. Okay. I can do that. So let's go ahead and get some planks. Let's get some nails. We actually need a little bit of gas because we're running out of planks. So let me run out here and let me quickly make some more planks with some of the gas in this uh, saw. All right. Uh, boop. Okay, let's jump this out on the ground. There we go. All right, let's get back inside the house. Let's barricade our windows. Let's make some bear traps. We'll cover the doors and then that should be enough, I think. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, close this and then we'll barricade this one as well. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can go ahead and put our lantern right here or our lamp, whatever the fuck it's called. And then we'll just move this chair out of the fucking way. All right, there we go. So now this defense is far from impenetrable because we need some bear traps. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that should do. Let's go ahead and put our bear trap here. Okay. And we'll actually not even bother. No, we need to. Son of a bitch. We're going to have to figure out a way to get out of the house in the morning. We're going to have to come up with a more suitable method of defense. But for now, this will have to do. All right, so the house is completely defended now. We are just waiting for nighttime, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just skip to morning if nothing happens in the night, but if something does, I will be sure to let y'all know. So I will either see you in the morning or in five minutes pissing my pants. Later. Oh, shit. We've already got somebody beating in on the fucking shit. Okay, he's down here. All right, so he's going to come through, and we're absolutely going to have to fight him. We do not have an option. All right, come through the door, damn it. Let's see what you're made of. Come on, buddy. Come on, then. Let's see you try, then. You think you're something. I can't hit him through the wall, can I? No. All right, here he comes. All right, is it just the one? What the fuck? You cheater. Oh, my God. Bro, these guys are way too hard for me to beat. Holy shit. They're way too strong and they literally just walked past the bear trap. The bear trap was kind of bullshit. I don't know why they didn't get hit by it, but whatever. There's not really anything we can do about it. We just, we need a better weapon. That's all it boils down to. We don't have the weapons to beat these guys. Let's go ahead and pick up our stuff here. Well, that's unfortunate. That means, because every night that we die, we don't get reputation from the trader, which is a huge pain in the ass. I can't believe they just walked right by that shit. That's annoying as hell. But I get stuck in it? Are you fucking kidding me? Really? I get stuck in it. Walking by it perfectly, I get stuck in it. But they just managed to haphazardly. <sighs> I can't with that shit, dude. That actually really pissed me off. Okay, well, that actually really made me upset. Okay, well, whatever. We need a gun. Like, we, we can't, we can't dart around this anymore. We need a goddamn gun. It's getting way too hard for us to kill anything. And it's making it so that we're actually just continuously dying on loop. So we got to sell some stuff. So what can we sell exactly? Well, we can't make a homemade shotgun. I'd like to make a homemade pistol. Actually, maybe we can make a shotgun. But how do we make ammo for it? That's the part that's confusing to me. I don't know how we get ammo for these things. Because we only have two shotgun shells. Hmm. 
Well, let's see, does he sell ammo? No, that'll probably be something that uh, the Wolfman sells now that I think about it. Oh no, we've got small caliber magazines, that's right. So, um, and it costs 240 either, or 450 either way. Okay, well we have to have this. We can't get around this anymore. So let's go ahead and sell one of our watches because we don't need two, we only need the one. So where did I put it? I think I put it in over here. Yep, there it is. So we're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell this meat. We're gonna sell all these glass bottles because they're valued a little bit. We can sell some rags because we have so many of them. And we can sell some of our nails. That should do it, actually. I think that's all we can really afford to sell. So let's go ahead and talk to the trader and see if we can get this going. All right, hey, buddy. So we need to go ahead and sell this, 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 this. Wait, meant to do that. Okay, so we still got our watch. Okay, so whenever we sell this, this is gonna give us exactly what we need. So let's go ahead and accept the trade. He doesn't have enough room, so he can only buy four things. Okay, well then let's, in that case, let's sell him that. And that'll give us just enough to buy the, was that what we needed? The weapon parts? I think so. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, that, that looks like weapon parts to me. Yeah, so let's go ahead and buy this from him. All right. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Hooded Figure, sir. All right, let's go ahead and make our pistol. Sick. Okay, now we actually have a fucking weapon where we can actually do shit. So let's go ahead and store this, store that, we can keep that, we can store that. Okay, so we had a small caliber magazine somewhere. Aha, there it is. So now we should be able to reload. How do I do this exactly? Do I click and drag it? I have no idea. Okay, well I guess, I guess it's just fully loaded. Okay, well that makes things significantly easier. Let's go ahead and head out. Because, oh wait, 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 that's right, we need Pyotrek, shit, I'm so sorry, Mr. Pyotrek. Okay, so, he's probably gonna need, wait, let's look at our journal, let's see. So, he had a little blueprint attached, and it had what we need, so we need a tire, some wire, looks like a lever, a battery, an exhaust pipe, and a wheel, I think. So, let's see here, we've got a fan belt, a tire, the wheel... We've got the battery. Now that just leaves us with an exhaust pipe and one other thing, I think. I think, I think, that's what, that's all it was. Probably, okay, let's go ahead and run this stuff out to Piatrek, and then we'll take a look at the pig shed that's north of that area. So there was also another thing that somebody commented that I completely forgot about, aha, that's how you activate it. So if you press Q, you can activate these different abilities that you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this and get some health back before we head out because I'm at half health. All right, we're full health. Let's get going. We got a lot to do. Oh shit, I gotta turn off the generator. Oh shit, I completely forgot about that. That could have been really bad, actually. That could have been really, really bad. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that I should probably turn it off. There we go. All righty, Monsieur Piotrek, I have items for you. A battery, a hybrid rocket engine. Wow, this will fit perfectly. Have you seen it? Have you seen my rocket? It's almost as pretty as the Gargrens. Well, almost. I just need to find some parts and it'll be completely ready. Would you bring them to me, the other parts? I would then fly to space and to the moon and to Mars and Jupiter and to the sun. I mean, I would land at night. The boy suddenly looks into my eyes. Look for old tractors. You will find the missing pieces for my rocket in them. All right, well, we got a fan belt here. Hold door frame stabilizer. Only two more to go. Trajectory guidance system. I only need one more part. A tire. Space rocket chassis. Yes! Finally, I have everything I need. Go! Your way now. Now go, please! I need to install these parts on my beautiful rocket. And then, wee! Off I go. I will wave to you before I'm on my way, and there will be no man has been before. Alright, well, it looks like we've, uh, we've done it. So, what time are we at? Ten? Okay, well, let's just go ahead and back up, and let's see what he does. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be waiting for. I wish I brought my Molotovs with me, actually, because I need Molotovs to get to this little spot right here. Not that I know what's in here, but I would imagine it's probably something worth my time. Oh, well, not a big deal. Let's go search the rest of the house, because I can't remember if we searched everything in here already or not. I think we did. Yeah, yeah, we already we already searched everything. Okay, no big deal. Piatrek. Now, I've heard everything. I've met a boy mm, named Piatrek. He told me he's building a rocket, but he's missing some parts. From what I understood, he's constructing a model of rockets from parts from a broken tractor. It's absurd, but I think I may help him. Okay, so it looks like we've actually got a new journal entry. That's good. So we have completed this quest with Piatrek. So now I guess we just wait and he's going to do his thing and we're going to do ours. Now I have no idea 
about anything else in this area. We still have to uh, check out the silo and we haven't fully checked out the cottage and the tank wreck, I don't think. So we probably should make our way over there, but we are already in this area. It wouldn't hurt to check it out a little more. Oh, well, hello there, sir. You're looking rather dead. A giant hole, giant hole. I don't see a, oh, that is a giant hole, okay. Oh, fucking God, I, for mm, I forgot they do that. Are you gonna blow up on me too? No, you know better. Oh wait, I've got no fucking, mm, I've got no space in my inventory yet again. So it looks like we're heading back to the house another time. What the hell was that sound? Oh, it's another one of you. I'm not falling for you this time. Oh, that could be a problem. Huh. Come at me again. Yeah, you're no problem anymore. I know how to deal with your ass. Oh, hello. All right, got him. Oh, and of course I have no room for this. Okay, well, I'll just leave the rag here because the meat is more important to me. Uh, wait, where'd the meat go? Hello? Rag. Odd meat. Wait, shit. Okay, hang on. Hang on, chat. Technical difficulties. We put the rag here. And then we go over here and we pick up the meat. There we go. That's what I meant to do, but I'm stupid and didn't do that. All right, let's go ahead and cook our meat. We're still not quite there to a new level, which is fine. We will get there eventually, but I do want to go ahead and drop off all this stuff. So we got some, a lot of stuff. A welder. When did I pick up a welder? Weapon parts. Well, that would have been nice to have. Now that I think about it, I could have built a pistol with that. Okay, well, whatever. Didn't need it. Doesn't matter. We can use it for another thing because we will need it for um something else, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, we actually don't. Oh, wait, yeah, for a single shot shotgun, we will. We actually need just one barrel and does not interrupt enemy attacks. Man, there's a lot of cool stuff that we need to get whenever we upgrade. Oh, well, we can do that right now. Okay, sick. Okay, so let's see here. We can make an axe. The single shot shotgun is kind of what I want, but let's go ahead and make a sickle because this sickle should be pretty neat, but it does not interrupt enemy attacks, which is quite interesting. So let's see here. This is a board with nails with more nails. Okay, so this is the one that we should repair and then we'll sell the other one because we no longer need that. Uh, no, 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 not what I meant to do. Okay, so we can do that. We no longer need this, so we can just go ahead and store it and then we'll sell it to the merchant in the morning. By the way, if y'all are wondering why I keep having to do this, it's because my webcam is structured so perfectly that I can't see the fucking dime, but it is what it is. Okay, so what do we need next to upgrade? We need those pair of pliers, calipers. I don't really know what those are, but it's uh, some kind of hand tool. We can also make some light armor. We should probably do that. That would be very useful. Okay, so let's go ahead and how do I wear this? Do I need to have it in my hotbar? I do. That fucking sucks, actually. We need to go ahead and get a uh, hot bar upgrade if we're going to keep doing this kind of stuff. But now we've spent all of our stuff, so we can't. But it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it. Well, now that we're a little bit more well defended, how about we go ahead and tackle this satanic area? I'm guessing this is a savage camp? A corpse. Uh-huh. Interesting. A knife. No! All right, so we got a knife and a shiny stone. Oh shit, oh shit, we're getting, we're getting, oh god. It was a trap. It's a trap, Luke. Okay. We're gonna have to take care of this big guy first. Hey oh wow. This is a good weapon. Oh my god, we just took that guy out in like four swings. He ya. And it also dashes forward. Oh my god, this weapon is OP. This weapon's like borderline broken. I should have known that was a trap from the get-go. Who else is there? I hear you, but where are you? Hello? Oh, he's beating up a dog. Hello? Are you over here? I, I don't see them. Unless he's in the woods there, but I don't see him there either. Oh, well, hello. There you are. Ha! Ha ha ha! Wow, this sickle is broken as shit. Like, literally and metaphorically, it does so much damage. This was such a worthwhile investment, and I bet it's not even that expensive to repair either. This shiny stone is going to help us a lot, too, because the shiny stone is now going to give us the ability to go ahead and make some of our credits back, so that way we can get some more reputation, and therefore be able to buy some of the other stuff that we need. Now, what the hell is this? A silo? Is this the silo? I think it's the silo. I'm not entirely sure. 
I hear a squirmy make squirmies, which means mushrooms are afoot. Oh. All right, then. What are you? A mannequin. An old headless mannequin. I hear very spooky sounds. Spooky sounds are not good for the soul or the health. Or your colon. This is very disturbing. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's speakers scattered around. Uh what interesting gramophone you got there. But what is the point of you? That remains to be seen. Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone with which I should be scared of? Maybe they're all friendly. Maybe all of them are friendly and there's nothing for me to be scared of. I have a feeling this is a bit too easy. I have a feeling that as soon as I search... Oh, that's a bed. Somebody else used to live here. I wonder who it was, but I have a feeling that as soon as I open this crate, I'm going to get bombarded with enemies from every direction. A dead rat. Huh. Well, ain't that just grand. Let's go ahead and take the dead rats, I guess. Man. Lots of stuff. Truly. All right, let's get out of here. I would imagine something's going to be here soon. Is that something I can pick up? No. Is that something I can pick up? No. Is that something I can pick up? Also, no. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm starting to get spooked out. It's time to Delta. All right, who's going to jump scare me? I'm ready. Who is it? Who's here to kill me? Anyone? Wow. Okay, it was just a very friendly encampment with absolutely nothing bad to happen. All right, then. Well, I could surely use more POIs like that one instead of ones that just murder me because I picked up a shiny fucking rock. All right, first things first, we need to repair the sickle. You, wow, that's kind of expensive. Okay, but we're, we're gonna need it. That, that weapon is too fucking good to not have, but we do need to be more cautious with using it because it is very expensive. So what the hell is the point of these dead rats exactly? I am not entirely sure. Can we just cook them? Is that what this is about? Yeah, so we can get 120 essence. However, let's do this first. So the two mushrooms will give us, ooh, a new ability. Once a day for about a minute, I'll be able to see all around me. Once a day, I'll be able to run for a short amount of time without losing stamina. And my blood will hurt enemies. Hmm. Because the way I see it, this will be the most useful. Because if I'm taking damage, which I am consistently, then I'll be able to therefore return some damage onto the enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. Oh, I need to choose a negative perk. My vulnerability to poison will increase or my sight will get worse for a short amount of time when I receive damage. Oh, we are, we are going vulnerable to poison. I am not losing out on sight. It's too important to lose. Are we going to get another dream? Are we, do we have another trippy mushroom acid trip? It would appear so. Huh. The smell of grass and trees. Is this the path out of the forest? The earth bends underneath my footsteps. The sky swirls pleasantly. Oh, there's bugs everywhere. I don't think it's so pleasant anymore. I think it's here. You think what's here? The way at home? Oh, I wasn't expecting... Okay. A completely ordinary dead man with a smile on his face. You look tired. Really? Come, live with me. Feel the soil. Doesn't seem too comfortable. I'm not sure. The trees hum so calmly. All right, well, whatever. Let's take a nap. Oh, well, that was it. I guess I just laid down, died in a hole. Whatever. Oh, there's an item here. An insect. No room in the inventory. How close are we to not to? Oh, shit. We're almost there. We're like almost, almost, almost there. Okay, uh, put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away. Actually, no, we need gas because we need to go and put, okay, put that in there, 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 there. Okay, we need to hurry because we need to refuel the generator outside. And then we need to try to put up a better defense tonight. We have a gun now, so it should be a lot easier. As it would turn out, tripping balls just before it's about to be the most dangerous time of the entire day cycle, probably not the best idea. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and make, let's go ahead and pick up this insect, whatever it's for. I have no idea. Cookable rots over time. 
Okay, well, then let's just go ahead and cook it, I guess. 120, 120, 120. All right, sick. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, wait, there's another mushroom I gotta cook. Boop. Okay, so let's go ahead and make another bear trap, and we're gonna try to defend this better tonight. So, bear trap, got it. We're gonna need planks. We're gonna need nails. Uh, my nails, my nails, my nails. There they are. Uh, I didn't, I don't need one. I need them all. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Do we have enough to barricade this door? I actually don't know. Uh, needs three. Okay. Uh, if we hurry, if, and I do emphasize on if we hurry, we can actually get another few planks before it gets too dark from our, uh, table saw. And then we should be good, but we have to hurry. Like, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to hurry. Come on, quickly! Put some gas in there! That'll do. All right, go ahead and give me, yep. Good. I'll take that. All right, thank you. All right, see you later. Close the door. Damn it. Again, with that shit. Okay, do we have a, a bear trap? Yes, we do. All right, bear trap goes here. We're going to put it right here this time. There's absolutely no way that they can get inside. And now that we have enough to go ahead and do this, we're going to barricade it. That'll do. And now we should be good for the night. We shouldn't have any problems because now we have everything set up exactly the way we want it. Now let's go ahead and put our armor on. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away, put this away. We can keep the knife and the sickle. Does not interrupt enemy attacks, but it can be thrown. That's not really going to help us in this scenario, so I'm probably just going to keep it tucked away for now as like an emergency weapon. And I kind of can't because I have no fucking storage. Once again, though, whoa, wait, hold on. What a second. Metal pipe. Oh, that's not a metal pipe. That's a barrel. Oh, shit. Okay. No time to no time to experiment. Oh, wait. I should probably take my lantern away. That would be optimal. Had my lantern out that whole fucking time and forgot about it and was just burning the fuel on it. All right. We got, we got company, ladies and germs. All right. But we're ready for him this time. If he gets through, we've got the ability to handle him this time. We got a sickle. We got armor. And we got bullets. We are ready for him this time. No, he just pissed off. All right, then. Well, I guess that takes care of that one. I guess if I stay still, they're less likely to fight me. Oh, the Whispers of the Damned are back. It's been a while since we've had to deal with these guys. Okay, well, we've got two We've got two lamps and a lantern. We should be fine. So even if they cut out one, we should be absolutely okay. Okay, which one are they going to cut out? They're going to cut out one of them. Which one's it going to be? Okay, we're good. We are goody good. We shouldn't have the savages attacking us at this time, so that means that we should be okay if anything like Even though we can't see the bathroom. We should be okay from anything coming from that direction And if it does we've got a shot lined right up back for round two are ye? Well, which one you gotta cut out this time? Up oh, same one you, you know y'all really should shake up your approach What is that swirling shit right outside of our door? You hold up. What the hell is that? Oh, is it just a ghost? I guess so. Holy shit, we survived another night. I can't believe I've forgotten what it's like to survive a night. I had legitimately forgotten what it was like to survive a night. Oh, and he turned off the lamp. What an asshole. Okay, let's go ahead and get outside of this because he they did bang on this door a little bit, which means that this one's going to be the most damaged. So let's go ahead and do this and hopefully we can get out without tripping our... Yep, okay, it looks like we're good. Let's go turn off our generator. Let's talk to the merchant a little bit and see what we can get spiced up for this man. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot, bro. I set down that trap myself and forgot it was there. Oh my god, I'm so stupid, dude. How much does it cost to make those anyway? Requires three, and we're running out of scrap metal, which is not good. That's actually really not good. We're gonna have to find some more out on our expeditions. All right, let's talk to the trader and see what he has for us. Anything new? Uh, well, let's take a look at the fabric. We could get that, but we also need to get an axe. An axe would be pretty helpful. The long barrel would also be pretty helpful, but honestly, we need fabric because at this current moment in time, we're in a scenario where the biggest thing holding us back is inventory space. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell you, I guess one of you, because we do already have the pistol crafted and it will, oh wait, no, we better not. We better hold on to that. Uh, we can sell the bottles. I think that's all that we have to sell at the moment. We got a whole bunch of stuff, but it's all stuff that I think that I need and I'm kind of hesitant to sell it all. Actually, we can sell this uh, boarded uh, nail thing and then that should do it. So let's go ahead and sell this to him. Hello, buddy. Hey, oh, open up your shit. I got shit for you. Yes, sir. Here you go. All right, take it. 
and wapow. All right, so now we are pretty close to being able to get that fabric. We can't quite get it just yet, but that's okay. We will get there soon enough. I don't think there's anything else that we can afford to sell at the moment because we are running kind of low on basic resources and I don't want to sell anything that I will regret selling. Could sell this knife, which would put us at, what is that? That would be, that'd give us 420, which still isn't enough. So we'll just wait till the next day in order to do this. We've given them everything that we have up to this point. So let's just go ahead and give them that. And then we're good to go. So let's go before I go ahead and close out today's episode. I do want to go check on Piatrek because I want to see if he actually managed to escape. All right, so let's go take a look. Well, I'll be damned. Piatrek made a working rocket ship. I'll be god jicky damned. All right, let's go check his room. Maybe he left something in there. A note, perhaps? No. Nothing. He just left without a word. Huh. Interesting. There's no oven here, which makes me think that we can't actually set up a base here, which is quite a bummer. But that's okay. I will go ahead and take this stuff back now that we have the room for it. We actually have a lockpick, so we can get this door open now. So let's take a look inside. All right, and there's another crate in here. I wonder what it has. Hopefully, it's something actually really worth because we need money. Oh, 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 yes, I needed that. I absolutely needed that. Oh my God, yes. Piatrek, you son of a bitch. I sure do love you. Let's get back home and use this baby before we close out the episode. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our episode of Darkwood today. We've done a lot of stuff. We met some new friends, sent him off into space, probably killed him, stole his welder, stole his fabric, and actually, that's really about it. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Once again, I do want to thank all of you that have been watching consistently. You guys are really making the stream a reality. You guys are awesome. If you have any more feedback, I will respond to all of it. And thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want like updates outside of YouTube because that's the place that I'm usually on the most. Do not forget to subscribe above all else and do not forget to ring the bell if you want notified on the rest of this playthrough because the game is starting to get pretty crazy. Anyway guys, I will see you all later. All right, bye-bye.